Now I want to go back to our lead story and our Brexit coverage and the debate underway in London. I want to bring in British broadcaster Katie Hopkins. Thank you so much for joining us, Katie. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you've been watching this obviously for the past few years, and now we have Boris Johnson. Did he actually ever have a chance with Parliament to broker a semi peaceful plan for Brexit, or was he kind of already predestined to continue this chaos which drove Theresa May from the position? You know, we have to remember that three years ago, we, good British people like myself, voted to leave the EU. We wanted out. And we haven't seen that. There's been nothing that's delivered Brexit in the way that we voted for it. So finally, we have Boris Johnson in power. His first six weeks have been amazing. It's been brilliant. He fired his cabinet members who were basically Remainers. If you were sitting on the fence, he fired you as well. And so we've seen a lot of action in contrast to the previous government. But yes, right now what you're seeing here in the UK is a parliament which is supposed to be a representative democracy, a representative parliament. They are actively working to stop Brexit happening. So they are going against the will of the people. And right now, here in London, with the House of Commons just up the road, it is very much Parliament against the people. And Boris Johnson sits with the people, which is a great place to sit, if you ask me. Well, that brings into the position this idea that Boris Johnson is even saying there's going to have to be a new vote on October 15th. Can you tell us what this vote is? Because once again, it's another vote that goes into it. And is it actually going to be a representative of the people? Do you think the people today, knowing the last three years of chaos, would still vote for Brexit despite all everything that we have seen? Yes, absolutely. If, if you go out there and you can feel it on the streets, just like I knew we were going to get Brexit, I knew people were going to vote that way, like I knew in America you were going to get Trump, because you could feel it when you're amongst real people. Here in the UK, ordinary Brits, our rust belt, if you will, with an American kind of uh, similarity, uh, they still believe in Brexit. And, you know, even people who didn't vote leave, who didn't vote out of the EU, a lot of them feel kind of incensed. They also feel like many good people went into a polling booth they voted the way they wanted to vote parliament had told us we will implement what you decide and they never have so actually Boris is really channeling this kind of Churchillian spirit. He's very like Trump in nature. He's all bombastic. He's the guy that says we're leaving no matter what. So I think what's going to happen, 14th, 15th of October, we have a general election if he can push it through Parliament. And I believe people will turn out in their droves to say, yes, we want Brexit. And I think the key thing here, and it's a parallel with the US again, is this is going to boil down to Boris Johnson and Brexit versus Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of the left, who's basically a socialist. This is basically Trump versus Bernie Saunders, capitalism versus socialism. And nobody wants socialism that's going to take away, uh, you know, wealth from the uh, wealthy here in this country and who's going to push us all down to the lowest common denominator. Jeremy Corbyn wants everybody to be equally poor. Boris Johnson wants every, everybody to be equally profitable. And I think people will vote with Boris because of that. Well, but you're getting a lot of pushback, and you're hearing it right now amongst the crowds, the loud. I think we, we called it here the silent majority back in 2016. But you are seeing a lot of people in the protesters. Usually the loud, louder people are the ones that are saying, nope, we don't want Brexit to happen anymore. You know, is this kind of been kind of the Hail Mary oh. strategy of those that did not want Brexit to say, you know what, we're just going to keep delaying this by causing chaos as long as possible so that maybe the people just give up and say, let's just stay where we're at? I think you're completely right, Scotty. I think that absolutely they thought the Brits would give up. They thought we'd get bored. But you know what? We are tenacious. We are determined. We are like good Americans. We fight for what we want. And, you know, those people out there protesting, saying we want to remain, it's always the super rich. It's the very... They're always so white. They're the ones that support open borders. They love migrants just as long as they don't have to be very close to them. And if you look around at those people saying we want to stay in, we want to remain, all white, middle class, very 
affluent people who want to be kind of pro uh, migration but don't want anything to do with those people those are the people that want to remain because they have exclusive island like lifestyles it's like the Californians or the people of New York no actual clue about regular people and what regular taxpayers have to go through on a daily basis so we're backing Boris it's a very exciting time and I tell you what I've been married twice but the day that Trump and Boris get together best day of my life for sure by a long margin well, I'm super excited Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.